It's not a problem that you have rapid functional recovery, but you want to know why you have it. And if you're able to achieve that type of functional recovery with a drug as opposed to a cell replacement, um, you always want to look at the risk versus the reward ratio. And the risk, the potential risk in doing stem cell transplantation uh, is far higher because than, than with administering a, a neuroprotective drug therapy. And it's far higher because once you put those cells into the human brain, if we were doing that, which we're not near that stage yet, you can't take them out. So if there are cells from, let's say theoretically, we were at the stage that we could, with a brain injured person, take and isolate stem cells from, say, debrided brain tissue, brain tissue that has to be taken out due to the injury. And this has been done. In 2007, uh, Richardson and Bullock had published an article where they had isolated neural stem cells from debrided brain tissue from human patients. And then you could take those cells and you could culture them and you could transplant them back into that same patient. Well, you don't have to worry about immune rejection. You don't have to worry about um, probably tumor formation because these are more differentiated cells. They're not gonna, they're not gonna keep expanding like embryonic stem cells.